In tonight's cover story, serving time, Twin Anchors Restaurant and Tavern in Old Town is 90 years old this year. That's right, and WGN's Mike Lowe looks back at how a cozy corner tavern became a Hollywood destination. We're a big part of the fabric of the neighborhood. A neighborhood anchor is an institution that enhances the quality of life and strengthens the cultural connections of a community. And then Zesty is the most popular, the one I usually recommend, sweet and tangy, not spicy. In Chicago's Old Town neighborhood, you could say there are twin anchors. Oh, we're getting uh, two full slabs for the family in the window. This year, the restaurant and tavern is celebrating 90 years, situated on the corner of North Sedgwick and West Eugene where the grill continues to sizzle with the spot's signature dish. I would say about 70% of the people still come in for the baby back ribs. That's what we're known for. Barbecue is in our blood. We still have you know, the same baby back ribs and the same mild sauce that the original owner uh, created in back in the 30s. Walking in is really taking a step back in time. I usually get two responses on what Twin Anchors looks like. It either looks like a Wisconsin bar Cheers, Cheers. or my grandmother's basement. Mary Kay Tuzzi. I was 16 years old and I started hosting and doing dishes. Is one of three siblings who co-own Twin Anchors. I do the hiring and uh, her sister Gina. My brother does like the, you know, the, all the paperwork. And brother Paul. Right here is the Twin Acres Bar. It's been here for over 100 years in this exact spot. Are the other two. Their parents purchased the restaurant 44 years ago. There was the possibility of buying Twin Anchors or there was a tasty freeze on Roosevelt Road in Lombard. Those were his two options. We are very grateful that he chose Twin Anchors. The building's history dates back to the 1880s. The first tavern operated here during Prohibition. It was known then as Tandy Lee's Soft Drinks, a candy shop and soda fountain. Open up this door. Hiding a speakeasy behind secret doors. That would take them out into the hallway where they could escape out to the street or up into the apartments. In 1932, the Walters family and Captain Herb Aldean, the harbor master of Monroe Harbor, opened the restaurant with a nautical theme, twin anchors. Though they never served seafood, it was always ribs. So the ribs were originally introduced back in the 1930s from Mrs. Walters. She was the wife of the original owner. And she used to cook them upstairs in her kitchen because they lived up there. So baby back ribs are what we're known for. Today, Twin Acres sells 1,500 pounds of ribs a week. So this one's the mild, the original. There's several different types of barbecue and, and ribs, but ours are the kind that fall off the bones. Frank Sinatra, old blue eyes, made Old Town a must stop whenever he was in Chicago and had a standing order, ribs and keep them coming. Sinatra put Twin Anchors on the map. He turned Twin Anchors from just a little corner neighborhood tavern into a destination place. And that started back in the 50s and 60s. At the height of his fame, Sinatra would station a bodyguard at the restaurant's payphone. Right here is where the, the payphone was mounted. Frank Sinatra would post uh, one of his bodyguards because they didn't want people showing up and get his picture or autograph and pester him while he was trying to have dinner. No old fashioned? Okay. Twin Anchors also installed a private line for the chairman of the board. So now I'm in Frank Sinatra's booth. Uh, this is where he would sit when he'd come in. There's actually a phone jack right to the left of the seat where he would sit in here, where we would plug in a phone for him. By guns, with my guns, babe. When Sinatra played Chicago Fest at Navy Pier in 1982, he couldn't make it to Twin Anchors, so he brought Twin Anchors to his band got a call from Frank Sinatra's manager and said he wants to have the ribs for him and his band at Navy Pier. We brought down 60 slabs of ribs and we fed Frank and his orchestra. They still have the receipt for rib dinners for Frank Sinatra's staff. <laughs> at around the same time, 42, 43 years ago, I was cooking 
uh, one evening in the kitchen. Another famous musical act stopped by. And one of the servers comes in back and says, you're, Paul, you're not going to believe who's sitting out in booth five. I said, I don't know who, the Pope? Not the Pope, but a duo on a mission from God. I come out here, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd are in their Blues Brothers suits, eating the ribs that I had just cooked. Celebrities like the late Chris Farley and Conan O'Brien have made frequent stops at Twin Anchors. I went to this place, Twin Anchor. I think I went there like three times. Do you know Twin Anchor? Yeah. Who are you people? <laughs> Bonnie Hunt's film, Return to Me, starring David Duchovny and Minnie Driver, filmed several scenes at Twin Anchors. Pick up! I know that looks massive, but you'll get through it. It's Friday night. Uh -huh. David Duchovny character meets the mini driver character. I'm sorry, can I get a cup of coffee? Sure. They meet here, and you can even see the positively no dancing sign over mini driver's shoulder. You've been in here before? The positively no dancing sign was needed so servers could navigate the cozy quarters. Back in the raging days of disco in the late 70s, early 80s, the jukebox used to be right here. People would play the jukebox, they would dance, and they would bump into the servers who were carrying the ribs. Oh. It was a big mess. The Batman blockbuster, The Dark Knight, filmed a short but significant scene at Twin Anchors. Keep an eye out for me, will you? Despite the fact that we were only in The Dark Knight for less than a minute, people come in all the time to and ask about it. He was behind the bar, and there was an older police officer sitting in the stool, and they were having a conversation, and Aaron Eckhart was banging a shot glass down over and over and over again, probably 25 times, so it left dents in the bar. We don't go out of our way looking for this. It sort of just kind of works its way here, and it just becomes part of the magic of Twin Anchors. But the story of the restaurant itself is the stuff of an epic movie. So this is a second secret door. Running time, 90 years. It's incredible. I mean, there's not many places that have been around this long. Along with all the ribs, it's the longevity that gives this neighborhood anchor its weight. Twin Anchors is timeless. Why, why mess with that? In Old Town, Mike Lowe. Ten more years and we're going to be 100. WGN News. Sure they're going to make it. Oh, I think you, so, yeah. You, you come for the ribs, you stay for the, sto for the stories. Yeah, so and, many cool stories. And it's a good thing the family didn't go with the Tasty Freeze. I doubt Sinatra <laughs> would have made the trip for the Tasty Freeze. Good point. But there he is.